So next up is venison from New Zealand, right? Yeah, New Zealand. Yeah. So it's free range. Free range. Mm. I love the texture of the deer. Mmm. It's hard to explain the difference, but it just it feels like it's more earthy. Yeah. You know? Yes. Exactly. They have, because they have more iron. They have more iron. Yeah. Whoa, my nose. Good evening everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in Shanghai, China. Tonight I'm going to take you to eat a delicious hot pot at the Holy Cow. This place is super unique because they get the freshest cow possible. Literally they buy cow daily and it's amazing. It's a different type of hot pot. It comes from like the Canton area and they have different broths. They have like five different broths or six different broths and from like really plain to spicy. So you cook your meat and then you put it into sauces. They have over 20 different sauces. This is something very unique about this place because I've been to other places that they don't have that. You just cook it in the broth and you eat it directly. And besides the meat of the cow, we're also gonna eat some vegetables and try some different drinks. I wanna have some baijo. You're a professional. <laughs> you are so hey. professional, yeah. Awesome. And this is Anthony, he's the owner. This type of hot pot is from uh, Chaosha area, so, which is near to Canton. You know this whole area. The unique about this hot pot is this beef is fresh, never been frozen. So we try to use the whole cow to uh, do this uh, uh, dish. You know, like fatty meat, even the like the, the muscles, the belly, the incandence, everything. Like you know, we we use uh, the bone, you know, to make the hot pot. Uh, we are in the Changning district in Shanghai. It's it's a quite nice area. Uh, Bingo Mall. It's a very big, you know, crowded mall. Let's go inside and eat some hot pot, dude. I'm excited. Thank you so much, man. Let's go. We have uh, this app. You can ch you can scan uh, like QR code, so the menu will pop out. So then you choose all different cuts of the meat. You know, then you choose like maybe the you know the breast or the the, the, the muscle or whatever. So you can choose. We try to use everything. Even the bone, we put in the soup. Just cook for the you know beef broth and liver. Liver, yeah, 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 yeah. We have a liver, we have a heart, you know, beef heart. I'm all about the organs. I love the organs. Like all the organs the, yeah, I love we, we, organs. All the organs. Okay, awesome. But whenever, if you want to sit outside, it's fine too. If you don't have WeChat, they also have a menu, but WeChat is like the biggest thing here in China. It's basically like WhatsApp in America and, and Europe. Okay, let's try the WeChat first. Okay, here we go. So now all the menus come out. So now we can pick the hot pot, like, the mushroom, the spicy base. Okay, very spicy base. Okay, that's it. Very spicy. Yeah, very spicy. <laughs> then we can choose the meat. So add the meat. This is very nice. It's a very special part from the from the cow. Okay, now I can show you my own signature sauce. Okay, it's very simple. Honey little bit because I don't eat too much spicy food. This is satay sauce. Like honey bit satay sauce, peanut sauce. The sesame oil, cilantro, celery, a little bit of everything. So, wow. Okay, that's it. That's an amazing. Mostly, I have to confuse you. You, you, you won't remember that. <laughs> I, I won't remember that. At all. Okay, that's it. That's my sauce. It's very simple. All right. Let me so, see. you want to make your own sauce? Okay, so my turn. Let me just grab something here. Garlic chili sauce, salted bean paste, sweet chili sauce. This one for sure. A little bit of that, right? Maybe a little more. Be like careful, spice. it's spicy. It's spicy? I want the holy cow sauce for okay. sure. It looks like a peanut dressing, this one. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit of saute. Maybe some chilies. Let me like go crazy with the chilies here. Come on, man, I do Szechuan style. Okay. And then, uh, Right here, sesame peanut. Mm -hmm. And maybe some, uh, some cilantro. Okay. Bam, that's mine. It's completely different than yours. <laughs> so we're starting it off with a craft beer. It's called Zero. It's like half wheat, half lager, and it's locally sourced. Mm, super light, but fantastic. And I like, the taste is very different. It has like a, I don't know, the water, you know? It's, but it's a lager with a weed, so you feel that little weedy kick, but you also have that light lager taste. It's crazy, there's a lot of stuff, man. In, in China, when they do this meatball, they don't use the knife or they don't use the machine to do it. They, use, they put one piece of a meat, whole meat, put on the uh, cutting board, and they use two very heavy stick 
to be the meat until they become like uh, the mo mush. Meatballs actually look more like like moussey consistency, like very mushy, right? Very different. And he's saying that it makes you bounce because the way they beat it, it's gonna make you bounce. Anthony went a little nuts. He got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 14. 14 different things. Bunch of meats, vegetables, dumplings. Wow, man. This is amazing. Uh, so show me what you do. How do you do this? Oh, okay. Um, actually, you know, I want to. We first we have to eat the meat because I don't want to add a flavor to, um, you know, make the soup have a, you know, different weird, you know, taste. So first eat the meat. Then we got going to eat the, uh, you know, vegetables. Okay. So let's sit down. Private room. Are you special? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so now I take some meat and put in the soup only take four or five seconds it cannot take too long you know and the meat can get, get overcooked you know it's like a medium all right it's done almost put on your plate okay okay i actually messed up so put the meat in here all right yeah okay put this on top yeah don't don't get it cold cold you have to eat like a, you eat fast eat right fast. all right so then i get the sauce right here so then you stir the sauce a little bit yeah. saying stir it right mm -hmm. There. And don't dip too much. Got one piece. Just yeah. dip a little bit, yeah, not too much. Yeah. You were saying the texture is completely different from like frozen meat. Yeah. Different world. Mm. Like butter. And like you say, it, it makes you bounce a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It makes you bounce. And the spice yeah. here. It's a spicy sauce. This yeah, is mine, right? It's very spicy. Oh, that's your sauce? I think it's mine. I think it's mine. Alright, uh, then you try you can also try some my sauce too. Mm. I'm gonna try your sauce. Grab a little bit more. Dip it. Yours is like amazing. Oh. Mmm. Thank you. It's like a little bit of spice, more sweet. It mm. almost has like a miso, right? Is that a miso? Yeah. Oh, I can like drink the sauce. Yeah, I, I mean, mm. there's a lot of um, satay sauce in it, so it's. So you put this one into the very spicy broth. I'm a little nervous. I'm probably just gonna try it alone. Mmm, spicy, but this meat is like out of control. This is the next level meat. Wow, I'm gonna dip this one in here. Not too much. Here we go. Your sauce is the best. Mmm, thank you. Mmm. Uh, dumpling first? Yeah, this is also made up for the, for the meat. So we use the trimmy meat to cut it and you know, like chop it and then to make the, the dumpling. Mmm. That's the first time I've tried beef dumplings. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Cheers. Cheers. Dump the meat in it. The meat in the cooked Yeah, cow which is my favorite. So good. So I, I put a half here and a half in the in the spicy one. Oh, wow. You brought more food, huh? Yeah. Oh, venison. Yeah, wow. that's the venison. They just del deliver to me. They want to me put on the menu. So I say, okay. So perfect, you're here so we can taste some venison today. It's a fresh, it's a from New Zealand. Wow. It's a New Zealand venison. It's not muscle, it's, it's hard to say. It's like a tendons and combined with the fat. So that's why we need to cook for a long time. Fat will go away, so only left this like a very chewy, like a crunchy tendons. Spicy, huh? Spicy, yeah, be careful. Yeah, yeah. So this is the shoulder of the cow, right? So dip it there. Mmm, so tender. I mean, that one was in the spice. Didn't hit me so hard, but feel it. I'm loving his sauce. I'm gonna go back to mine for a second. Oh, we have uh, the black one. Not too much, just enough. I just, yeah, I just take it. I can give you two. You're a big man. And here we have the meatball. Mmm, and you dip it right in the sauce? Mm hmm. Oh, be careful, man. <laughs> That's beef? Wow, it almost feels like I'm just eating lamb in a way. Mm. You know, the taste. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bite half of it so I can show you guys how hot it is. Mmm. Oh my god. Dip it there, get a little bit of that. So many little layers. Wow, the way they put it together. Man, the bounce. 
I don't know if I'm bouncing because the because the meatball or bouncing because the heat. No, if you if you throw on the table, uh, the floor, it will bounce you to the table. It's very bouncy. <laughs> <laughs> so much food. Yeah, family, you know, mm -hmm. friends. So we all sit together like a big table, and then we drink beer and Cheers. eat the meat. It's especially in the winter time. It feels so good. Yeah, man. Wow. Bought me a super big dark beer. That's your beer, man. It's for the Germans, right? Yeah. Oh my god, it weighs. Hold on a sec. Yeah, you can eat a raw venison. No problem. So next up is venison from New Zealand, right? Yeah, New Zealand. Yeah. This is free range. Free range. Mm. I love the texture of the deer. Mm. It's hard to explain the difference, but it just it feels like it's more earthy. Yeah. You know? Yes, exactly. They have, because they have more iron. They have more iron? Yeah. Whoa, my nose. This venison has been cooking in a spicy bra. Another thing about the venison is that there's like no fat on it, so super clean. Mm. Man, we're gonna eat the whole thing, huh? You and me? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Nothing to waste, nothing. Let me try that beer. Oh my god. Dude, what'd you give me, like a liter? Yeah. Mmm, what is this? What is that, like cinnamon or something? What is it? I know, it's a German, German black beer. Is it German black beer? Yeah, no, but it has some like, some like... This one, and then also I have, I'll give you something just called See You Tomorrow. Oh, I love it. See You Tomorrow, right? <laughs> yeah. Trying to stomach. Mm. It's like gelatin. Okay. Organs are great because they're always so unique in their textures, yeah. you know? But this one, like it's super like... It almost feels like spongy. I'm trying with this different sauce and it has like sesame seeds, right? Mmm. Mmm. That was good. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. Oh man, right there. It's called golden needle mushroom in China. Golden needle golden mushroom? Golden needle mushroom, yeah. Super nice mushroom, very thin. I just love mushrooms, so I can eat that every day. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna try the cow stomach in a spicy broth. Yeah. This is this is the uh, in Canada. So you know that. Uh, oh, I'm gonna try the stomach, the spicy stomach alone. Mm. Wow, I think I need to like calm it down with this. Mmm, it looks like fat. Straight or dip, dip, dip a little bit. Wow, the heat. Oh. Tastes like bacon. Mm. Like a very, very chewy bacon. Yeah. It was nice. I mean, I'll pass in the next one. I don't need it again. Okay. <laughs> That's more tender, I think. It's, yeah. uh, it's, it's also venison. Wow, it gets so much meat. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a feast. Yeah. Man, it's a feast of the ages here. Yeah, we're so lucky. It just needs a very quick. You can eat it like a raw, you know. And here we have a different cut of the venison. So I'm gonna grab it. Whoa. That. I'm gonna just grab a different piece. Get some of this sauce. And dry it a little bit, just a little bit. The most unique part about this is it's zero fat. And it's like super, super lean. Mmm. Dip it. Dip it that. Wow. I can eat meat like all day long with no carbs. You can eat me forever. Mmm. It's like perfect. Yeah, it looks more fatty. Yeah, more fatty. No, no, I guess I've never seen it this fast. Oh, okay. Whoa. There's another piece of the cow, but this one yeah. has a lot more fat. Yeah. Just in here? Yeah. Tastes very similar to the first one, mm. but you have a lot of pieces of fat. Mmm. I'm all into fat. I can eat fat. This is a good fat. Yeah, yeah, this is really good fat. Dip it a little bit. Wow. That one's spicy. Mm. If you're like me and you're in Shanghai, I highly recommend coming here. You'll die for this food. I mean, it's so good. I know we overdid it tonight, but YOLO. Mm. This is the blood, David. So, you, have you tried the blood? I've tried none like that. That looks like more that. like liver. Okay, yeah. But because when they, they put it into the like a, a jar and then, then they cut it like this. No spice on this one, no? Yeah, okay. The dumpling. I'm gonna cook it a little bit and then you dip it in your sauce. Oh okay. my god, it's been blood. cooking for a while. Get some, get some blood. 
Wow, some blood. That's good. That's good. Oh my god, next up we have some blood. It looks like liver, but it's blood that has been cut into like these rectangles like shape, right? It's got to dip it, dip it into his sauce. <laughs> I mean, it's blood. It looks like liver, but it doesn't taste like liver yeah, at all. Yeah, no. Liver like dense, yeah. you know? It's so, it tastes like a tofu. Tofu skin. Right. Oh. So you finish this icing, we're done. And now we, do you, you want to sound the mushrooms? Next up, we have tofu skin. One huge piece. Wow. Look at this. The whole thing? Mm. One bite? No, no, yeah, I want two bites. Wow, it's amazing, man. Tofu skin. Because it's it's tofu, but it's like fried. Yeah, so it tastes very different than regular tofu. Xiaolongbao needs to cook a little bit longer. And this is a fish ball. Super chewy, dense, yummy. A little too hot though, a little too hot. Yeah. But next we're gonna have some xiaolongbao. And this is one of the only places that puts xiaolongbao into the hot pot. So it's the soup dumpling in the hot pot. Okay. Here we have the xiaolongbao, so dip it in a little bit, just a tiny bit, so too hot. As soon as I bit into it, it burst it out. Mmm, nice soup. Oh, it's fantastic with that sauce. Everything's good with the sauce, man. It's like, give me less, man, give me less. It's too much food. Okay. Ate the entire kitchen right here. Oh. Mmm. Dude, this, this meat with the fat, I'm starting to fall in love with it. Mm. Oh my god, guys, we just had such an epic meal. Anthony, thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank so you much. for coming. No, it's been yeah. incredible. Welcome. I, everything was so good. I mean, I don't even know what to tell you. The venison might be the best. Oh, you, you like the venison? Wow. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, it was super good. But I like the shalambao, the, the uniqueness that you put it into the hot pot. I'd never seen that before. I've had shalambao a lot of times. Man. I don't know, the, the sauce though. The, the sauce, sauce is good, yeah, yeah. The yeah, sauces yeah, are really yeah, good. Yeah, the soup actually is really good. The, the soup is a bone. You know, oh yeah, it's yeah. the spine of the, yeah, the yeah, cow. Yeah. When you find yourself in Shanghai and you're craving hot pot, definitely come out to the holy cow. Uh, bingo mall. Bingo mall, so B-I-N-G-O. Bingo. Yeah, bingo. Very easy. It's amazing. The food is fantastic. I mean, what an experience. I think the beer was too big for me, though. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Enjoyed it. No okay. problem, man. And well, guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Shanghai, China. Peace.